What's up guys? Was uh, just thinking about doing some Grotant updates, some videos, maybe just uh, kind of do a quick little walkthrough of tent and what I got going on every week. Hi Dennis. This is Dennis Weston. This is where I do all my seeds. Got more than I know what to do with. It's a bit messy out here. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get into the tent and take a look at things here. It's very, very good, strong locking mechanism, you know. Oh, it's nice and hot and humid in here. It's actually, it was a rough week last week. It was extremely cold here, um, so it was hard to keep the humidity up. I got this very professional extra humidifier going on. Um, <laughs> But uh, things seem to be a little bit better. It's it's not great right now. It's sitting at 36, it looks like. But um, yeah, I was having a hard time keeping it above 30, and I was running this humidifier and the bucket full time. It's pretty bad. But yeah, let's uh, let's take a look through some stuff here. I've got uh, a couple things that are out of place a little bit. This is the the Chinese five color. You can see it has all these beautiful purple flowers on it. I'm a really big fan. It grows like actually just so symmetrically. It's it's an awesome plant. It's just got it in a little mason jar down there. Ooh, this guy actually is looking a little bit sad right now, but has tons of just beautiful peppers. This is a sugar rush red. This is this plant has just been so good, just beautifully productive. It uh oh yeah. The bucket's almost empty, so <laughs> it needs some water. But uh, luckily, I got some on hand. Yeah, I uh, I had to isolate them for a few weeks because um, there were some mites, and I gave it a pretty aggressive pruning. You can see some of the leaves don't look the best, but it just instantly, as soon as I brought it back into the main tent, started producing again. The pods that it had ripened up really nicely. Even got. Some, looks like some corking there, but it'll uh, it'll look a little more upright once I <laughs> once I give it a drink. And uh, I've got my Scotch bonnet kind of coming back to life here. I cut it back a little while ago. Actually, it looks like it's starting to bloom a little bit. Uh, don't know if that's exactly what I want, but we'll see. And then. Uh, that's actually getting quite empty as well. <laughs> I really need to do a nutrient swap, hence all the buckets outside. Uh, this is the Soul Survivor. When I did one of my first couple rounds of seeds, I was throwing out net cups or uh, solo cups full of dirt, and I threw a bunch onto my back deck, and the next morning a little pepper had sprouted out of it. So I, I don't know what it is. I, uh, I gave it a pretty aggressive pruning as well, but it looks like it's starting to bloom again, so hopefully we can find out what that is. And, I mean, it's it's very strong. It, uh, it keeps coming back, growing this really nice, dense foliage. But uh, it is also quite empty. It really needs a drink. And then, got a sugar rush peach here. Actually, these are both sugar rush peach. Oh, wow. Yeah, this guy's getting some flowers again as well. These plants are crazy. I can't believe how productive they are they I mean I'm not gonna peel the lids off right now but they don't even have the strongest roots um, but especially this one but they just will not stop putting out peppers uh, some Maruga scorpion it is it also got pruned back but it looks like it's coming back all this stuff is new growth it's looking good and then all my little seeds that I'm starting We've got, uh, these ones are in just double cups. This is probably my favorite way to germinate seeds. They just, uh, it's really, it's really convenient. And it involves less transplanting and uh, it's just an easy way. I also, for whatever reason, just have really good success. Uh, really good germination rates. But I did want to start some more plants in rock wool this year, so uh, I, Got these guys going. You can see lots of interesting varieties in this tray. That's six different kinds of ghost pepper. Really excited about the uh, death spirals. The bane strains are really cool. Apparently these uh, yellow and red submarines are like a really nice 
habanero type pepper. Um, and then I got these are the this is the first tray of rock wool that I put in, and a bunch of these have already started there up over there on the, the seedling shelf, which I'll show you guys in a moment here. But uh, yeah, lots of lots of fun varieties in this one too. It's got an original ghost. You can see, I don't know if you can see, there's a little tail in there, but it hasn't had any movement, so I don't know if it uh, if it's gonna make it. Um, close that back up. And then, uh, well actually before we get into the big plants, let me take a look up here. Unfortunately, it's kind of hard to film um, up here because it does that weird thing that LEDs like to do. But uh, just gonna have to deal with that for now. Ooh. Got some some really nice varieties this year. I'm I'm really excited. Got the Zion mutants. There's one in there that looks real gnarly. And then uh, yeah, I got these are the from the first round of seeds I started. Um, these Sugar Rush Peach, again, they're just so good. Check this guy out, he's already showing some roots. So that means we can hit him with hydronutrients in the second cup there, and they grow really, really fast. Uh, here's a few starting in, started in rock wool, and they were transferred into their mason jars. So that guy, it's a purple haze. And then I got a shishito back there. This is a red tie. These are both sugar rush peach. Uh, and this is another red tie. And then uh, this is my ahi cherpita. Looking pretty good. Got a bunch of little flowers. Also in a mason jar. Just refill, give everything nutrient swaps. I'm hoping uh, these lower branches start to upturn a little bit soon. Get a little bit of a wide, bushy base on that one. And then these are the most recent uh, sort of sprouts. Um, that guy does not look like it wants to open up. It's a peach naga. But I like to put them nice and close to the light right off the bat. And then, if we take a look over here, this big guy is the Reaper, questionably. Um, the pod definitely tasted like a reaper, but it was only one, and it didn't look like one, so who really knows? <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's a really nice plant. It's It did grow a little bit weird. Um, you can see down here at the base, it's all tied up because it split a couple months ago. Um, and also, it's not really being properly supported. But you can see this branch, if you follow it, it grows all the way up to here so it's actually not very ideal but I'm hoping it sets some fruit soon it has lots and lots of blooms so uh, get all my reject plants down here so it's a that's my mystery habanero I cut it down after I harvested my um, chocolate cappuccino Trinidad scorpion butch tea scorpion chocolate bootla Genghis Khan Brain, Black Naga, and Orange Habanero. This is the uh, Bula Bubblegum 7 Pot Red. I don't believe it's actually a bubblegum. Um, none of the peppers that I've harvested off of it have the bleeding calyx, so who knows what it actually is, but they're very, very spicy, and this is a great plant. Um, you can see over here, got a little guy ripening up on it. I go green to yellow to orangey red. Um, and then this is the uh, the ugly one. <laughs> it is not the happiest looking. Got a chocolate bootla, chocolate reaper. Just been kind of working on these two for a friend. Um, got some nice new growth going on them. Did a lot of pruning and just starting to grow them out again. Um, might put some of these outside once the sun comes out. I'm not really sure what the plan is right now. Uh, you can see uh, beautiful new growth on the uh, Apocalypse Scorpion. Some not so beautiful, but uh, <laughs> I, I actually need to rotate these guys. They need to share the light a little bit better. Uh, this is a Reaper, same thing. Lots of great new growth going on. Uh, my 
chocolate hab is recovering very nicely. It, uh, yeah, it's actually already, looks like it's putting out some new pods already. God, yeah, these things get very big very fast. That was just a little guy the, the last time I looked. But lots of flowers, lots of blooms. And then this is a chocolate reaper question mark, I believe it says on the tag. <laughs> I think it actually needs a, a refill again. It's almost nutrient swap time, um, but it's doing pretty well. It's, uh, it's got lots of new stuff going on and it's really starting to perk up. But yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much it for this week. I'm checking for new sprouts a couple times a day and then just moving them up into the seedling shelf. And I've kind of got this whole area cleared out for when more stuff starts to sprout, just because this isn't going to be enough space for very long. Oh, this is my upside down sugar rush peach. Um, I, can... I water him through the eyes. Uh, I've just been rotating him back and forth every day, so he reverses the direction of its J. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's kind of it's an experiment. And uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this update, and see you again for another one next week.